Greetings, everyone. My name is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. I am uh, the uh, founder of uh, the Facebook groups uh, Holistic Health Talk and Everything is Food, and also the founder uh, of the Facebook page Progressive Discussions, uh, all created in the year 2012. I am uh, the administrator um, of those uh, three, uh, those two groups and the one page. Um, I, would I would like to um, give uh, thanks and um, greetings to my co-administrator on those two groups that I just mentioned, Mr. Mario Petrus, the creator himself. Um, I'm speaking on behalf of my co-administrator, Mario Petrus, uh, who is basically my right-hand man. Um, this is a very important message for those, these two groups, uh, Holistic Health Talk and Everything is Food. Okay, and um, the reason why I'm speaking on behalf of my co-administrator, uh, Mario Petrus, myself, of course, and um, my other uh, moderators um, that are involved, uh, Mick Von Raven, who is also a, a victim, just like we are, and um, he's, a, he's an administrator and moderator, both. Uh, Facebook has changed. Facebook has changed into a, uh, uh, a corporate, a fascist entity that practices censorship. Okay, I was never uh, for censorship. This is why I quit many groups in the past. Okay, uh, because they were in fact uh, run by control freaks, dictators that would constantly threaten to remove you if um, you dared to speak your mind and be and be honest and truthful. Uh, you had to kowtow to the uh, administrator and the moderators. In this case, the belonging to someone else's uh, uh, totalitarian dictator's group, this puts the Facebook main, main office in a position of being the uh, the fascist uh, dictator that is trying to censor the real hard-hitting truth. So what's been happening is it seems like a pattern is formed with us. Every month, uh, as soon as we get out of quote-unquote Facebook prison, right, after we're serving our sentence for being accused of spamming, meanwhile, why on earth would we spam our own groups? It's insane. Okay. Me, at the same time, Facebook hypocritically bombards all of us with spam day and night, every day, 24-7. Okay. But we're being accused of spamming. Uh, we're being censored. Our opinions are being censored. And we're placed in Facebook prison unjustly. Uh, I appeal many times. Many times. So many times I can't even count anymore. They never reply to my appeals. It does no good to appeal to them. I try calling the Facebook main office, trying to con convince them that myself, Mario Petrus, the creator, and my uh, organization, my people, do not spam our own groups and pages. We have no reason to. There are legitimate articles, there are legitimate uploads and posts and videos. There's nothing spamming about them. Okay. Um, meanwhile, Facebook continues to spam us. So, of course, I never get a reply. And uh, we, we seem to be in a continuous loop every month. We are unfairly and unjustly enter Facebook prison 
then we serve our sentence for doing really nothing wrong. We serve our sentence, we're released from this so-called Facebook prison, and lo and behold, as soon as we start posting uh, some revealing uh, articles, um, they could be from anywhere. They could be from uh, uh, a website called Natural News. They could be from the Huff Huffington Post. They could be from uh, Our Revolution, a progressive organization run by Bernie Sanders and Jeff Weaver, I believe. Um, it could be anything. Uh, left Action, uh, U.S. Uh, Democratic Socialists, um, whatever. It could be about va uh, anti-vaccine information, uh, anti-Big Pharma, uh, anti-GMO, uh, you know, Monsanto, uh, fake Franken-food. Uh, it could be anything that's truthful that would help society and humanity, that would help the lower 98% mainstream population, not just the United States, but of the world, because as you well know, Facebook is worldwide. So it's not just about the United States. So as soon as we start, I mean, weeks don't even roll by. As soon as we start posting the real hard-hitting truth, I, whammo, we're put right back in, in Facebook prison, unfairly, unjustly. Uh, they don't listen to appeals. So it, it is a miniature um, corporate fascist oligarch run by a, a scrawny geek, a scrawny hawk-nosed geek that is on a power trip and uh, that probably screwed his way to the top just like Bill Gates. Anyone with a douchebag-looking face more, most likely screwed their way to the top. And um, this is the man that lives on a Hawaiian island where 700 acres is not large enough for him and his li a little gold-digging Asian wife. No, he wants to remove all native Hawaiians from the island. So that, this gives you an idea what kind of a human being uh, is, is running Facebook. Okay. The main thing is, if, if the company doesn't listen to appeals, they don't read appeals, they don't focus on appeals, they don't reply to a, appeals, when something, uh, when you're being targeted, when you're being singled out, when you're being unjustly put into Facebook prison, okay, this is a form of dictatorship, this is not the First Amendment of the United States of America. It's unconstitutional. And uh, this uh, video is in protest of that. Um, I will upload this onto the two groups, Holistic Health Talk and Everything is Food. I will also upload it onto my page, Progressive Discussions. And, and, on top of all that, I will upload it on the Progressive Discussions YouTube channel, YouTube, Google. So it, it will be out there. It'll be on my uh, uh, Twitter page. It'll be out there. Okay. Um, I'm speaking to you from the uh, uh, Mega Life 21 broadcasting studio. And uh, like I said before, I want to show my appreciation and give a shout out to all my uh, um, administrators and moderators, all of them, okay? Um, uh, Mick Von Raven, Anthony, Laura, of course, my right-hand man, the creator, uh, Mario Petrus himself, uh, uh, Bill Mabry. Um, everyone is uh, doing a fantastic job, okay? Um, and uh, there are other progressive warriors out there, um, Michael Labar, uh, Evelyn Pringle, who, who, who gets banned and, 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 and blocked all the time. That's the word I, I, I forgot to use. They call it blocking. We are being blocked. It's, to me, it's censorship. Blocked from spamming. Meanwhile, we don't spam. We just simply tell the truth. 
But I guess Facebook doesn't like that. I guess Facebook is um, a typical um, uh, right-wing corporatist uh, greed-obsessed organization, just like all of corporate America. You know, the corporate CEO is the the number one tool of Satan in the end times, in my opinion. And, uh, uh, oh, I would like to also say greetings to Mr. Uh, uh, Robert uh, Cheeky of Montreal, Canada. And um, my uh, longtime co-host, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. And uh, my near dear, uh, precious uh, Natalia Rodriguez from San Diego, California, um, um, who informs me of what's going on in, in the American Southwest. Um, let's see. I am very proud of all the members of Holistic Health Talk uh, because it has grown vastly. I mean, I remember when I only had merely a few members. I mean, Mario remembers the old days. Mario Petrus knows. I only had a few members, and now there's like, my God, what is it, over 7,000 members. Um, uh, everything is food, uh, it, which is about international uh, food and drink from all over the world. It started off ne with next to, to nothing, and now there's uh, well over 1,000 members. But Holistic, Holistic Health Talk is the flagship group. But what's the point in me spending time on a group? What's the point in me creating new groups if I have no power to manage them? I cannot govern them. I cannot manage them. Uh, 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 it, it seems like they're controlled by the Facebook main office. So what's the point? Now, myself, I still have a total freedom on the Progressive Discussion Facebook page uh, for now. But uh, once I lose uh, the freedom of that, there is really no incentive for me to remain on Facebook. And believe me, believe me, a lot will be said on YouTube if Facebook ever censors me 100%. You know, right now, my, my, my good friend and co-administrator, the creator, Mario Petrus, right now, he cannot do anything because of him exercising his freedom of speech, his First Amendment rights. He can't even um, reply to a private inbox messages on Facebook. He can't do anything on Petrus Fit, which is his Facebook uh, a page. He can't do anything even on his own profile. He can't even click like. Now, do you see the ups the the obsessive power trip that this this eagle beak geek is on who probably got beat up by jocks in high school and, and thrown into a dumpster head first you know I mean this is an extension of his manhood it's called keyboard courage when somebody doesn't have the guts to face you to stand before you face to face and try to bully you keyboard courage okay for wimps that don't have the guts to look up to, to, to ask you for your address and, and meet you face to face and try to censor you and take away your First Amendment right. That's what it's about. Okay, and a lot of people have this key, this uh, keyboard courage. So I wanted to just tell people uh, watch this video, and this is the reason why. You haven't seen the creator, Mario Petrus. You haven't really seen me um, post much because everything I post is called spam, unjustly and unfairly. Um, ever since the Republicans got control of Washington, everything is, 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 seems to be uh, censored and controlled and blocked. Uh, it's fascism. If you if you if you know your political definitions, go you know go to Webster Merriam Webster's online dictionary. Is the, the the joining of government and the corporation, fascism. Benito Mussolini said it best. But 
that's it. I know I've been very long-winded. I apologize for this slightly over 15-minute video. All right. This is James P. Madonna uh, saying, um, do the right thing. Vote in every single major election and uh, stay healthy and uh, stay away from uh, non-organic uh, 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 GMO foods, of course, and take your supplements. And uh, right now, thank, thank God we have our wonderful administrators. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, our, our wonderful moderators and editors out there that are still free to move about and, uh, and contribute to the groups and pages. Bye-bye.